All right, this question is exactly why you gotta study for the SAT. If you have and you've learned your grammar rules, this is obviously a modifier's question. Look at those answer choices, they're long and the words are getting all jumbled up. We don't see that for pretty much any other rule that the SAT tests. The only one is modifiers. And the way that that rule works is we're gonna have some sort of intro clause. We can see it right here. It's long, but it ends in a comma. That's what an intro clause is gonna do. And it's leading us into the main sentence. So whatever we're talking about in that intro clause has to start the sentence. We, we need to modify whatever that piece of the sentence is. That's what the modifier does. It, it gives a description. So as I'm reading this part in highlighted um, color here, I'm gonna be thinking almost as like a question, what are we talking about? So let, let's look. Woven from recycled yarn and hand tufted using a carpet weaving technique passed down by the artist's Turkish grandmother. Okay, so what is woven from recycled yarn and hand tufted using a carpet weaving technique? Well, okay, probably some sort of rug or something, I don't know. Uh, the topological tapestries of Argentine textile artist Andres Alexandra Kea Yoglu are so lush and tactilely inviting that you are tempted to reach out and touch them. Well, a tapestry is like a, a carpet, a rug. So uh, that seems good. Now there's some adjectives here, topological, I guess that's describing the tapestry, but it's still the tapestry is the first thing after that comma. That's what I need because that is the thing that was woven from recycled yarn. Now let's look at the other choices just to compare. B, the Argentine uh, textile artist, Alexandra creates topological, ta well, okay. This is saying that she, Alexandra, was woven from recycled yarn. Obviously that's not true, this is a person. She's not like knitted into existence, but it has all the same ideas. And if you don't know this rule, this may sound better to you. I don't know, maybe it's just this ordering feels better. But without me reading past the first few words, I know it is wrong. It has to talk about the tapestries first. So let's keep going. C, when she creates her topological tapestries, well, this is weird because it's inserting another clause before we even get to the, the thing, which is, again, it's the person. We're talking about the person here. So no, we need to talk about the rugs, the, tar the tapestries. D, same problem, right? Now, fewer words here, but we get right to it. We're talking about the person and we can't talk about the person. So if I were doing this on a test, I would have gotten this right in like 10 seconds because I know the rule and I can read very quickly and see that only choice A starts with the tapestries. So it's not about how these choices sound. It's not about which one is shorter. It has nothing to do with any of that. It is only like which one talks about the thing that the modifier was talking about. Just if you know the rule, these questions go from very hard to very, very easy.